Yeah, indeed. And at the moment, that's something I'm I'm juggling and in a growth kind of uh, period of my of you know of my journey and and a bit of uh, transition, I would say. So I have a full time job as a procurement manager. Yeah. Uh, so I negotiate contracts and pricing for sure. uh, for big uh, organizations. I took a lot of properties uh, last summer. Mm-hmm. Most of my property last summer, no bookings or, or very little or just short bookings. Yeah. So I felt like I didn't have control over my calendar. Guys, welcome back to another Grow BNB video. So I am currently in Spain and yeah, uh, it's been a great working day. I am actually working, which is great, but wanted to share this amazing, amazing client interview. And yeah, it's been a fascinating journey for us uh, with working with clients like this, where, you know, they come with a massive portfolio, you know, they go through the scaling of their property and eventually, you know, what finds, it comes to a point where people have, you know, don't get me wrong, they've launched their property, they've done really well, didn't need us, and then all of a sudden, you know, next month they've, you know, their calendar's empty, and, you know, all of a sudden they're panicking because they've got big portfolio, they've got to fill those properties in to make money, um, and today we want to share, you know, there's so much information I shall tell you, we'll share you in this video, this is going to give you some tips, it will tell you her journey, you know, scaling from zero to five property really quickly, but more importantly, see what are the challenges people face in their business scaling that business quickly whilst he's running a big you know the day-to-day work and you know running this company and having a VA and all that kind of stuff so guys that welcome to another client interview of mine please make sure you watch it till the end because there's some really good gems that you guys are gonna love so let's roll the client interview hi guys like guys welcome back to another grow your bnb video and i've got a very special guest here today uh, who we're gonna you know just not share experience but it's been an amazing journey between us um i shall firstly welcome to grow your bnb video how are you uh thank you yeah i'm very well thank you thank you for uh, for making the time for me and and yeah, for inviting me to for, for your interview. So yeah, amazing. Well, listen, firstly, yeah, no, appreciate you making time and actually, you know, taking time out to share your share your story. So let's go straight in. Firstly, look, people watching this video wants to know who are you? What do you do? All right. Uh, so I'm um, I to I've uh, I own a company called uh, Twenty Property Stay. It's yep. a, a basically a rent-to-rent a property management company, so it's in two parts. We do HMO, but also rent-to-rent service accommodation. Amazing. So we started the company about was in 2020, hence the name 20 Property Stay, without oh, yeah, knowing that. how bad 2020 was going to be. But there you go, so so it's stuck. And uh, yeah, so we've been doing doing that since, since back then. How and, amazing. Uh, yeah how amazing and look i think a lot of time people watch this interview to get motivated on you know of, about your story how they how they come and work with me but more importantly i think as an investor what i was surprised about you was you scaled very quickly like you were you you get property really quickly so firstly let me ask you a question how do you make time because you work like in a busy demanding job yeah indeed and at the moment that's something i'm i'm juggling and i'm in, I'm in a growth kind of uh, period of my of uh, you know of my journey and and a bit of uh, transition i would say so i have a full-time job as a procurement manager yeah uh, so i negotiate contracts and pricing for, sure. uh, for big uh, organizations and uh, try and apply as much as possible some of those skills in in property. Wow. And it's all about interpersonal skills and really identifying what's important to, to the person that's in front of you and trying to find a solution and, and common ground. And that's what, what whatever, whenever I speak to a landlord, that's what I try and, and apply. I so, and so. I, think, I think it's fair to say you've achieved that very well because, Thank you know, you. When, when, you know, Today we can share your story. You've, you know, you, I think you've got six property at the moment, correct? Yeah. Or as an yeah, essay. So, 
That's right. So one, my very first one, I, I gave it to a management company. <laughs> and then uh, the last, uh, the, 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 the other five, um, and I didn't, I didn't dare taking it back, but I'm considering. And the other five, I've uh, basically, I've, uh, I've scaled it, but basically I've found them myself and I went yeah. in and jumped in to, to, to look to manage it. But, to yeah. manage this, yeah. And, yeah. And, and one other thing I think what I want to know about is let's go back to three parts here. One, you know, I call service accommodation short term rental business as property investing strategy. And you smashed it because you know how to get properties days in, days out. You've proved that already. You know, like, we've spoken about this before you've you've smashed it the second thing is it's a hospitality business now i think it's fair to say there's some part in your business that didn't have a lot of system and stuff right so let's take it back to when we first started mm. when you first joined us like before we worked with me what were your issues um so so as, as you said as you said i scale very quickly uh, it's uh, mainly, uh, I took a lot of properties uh, last summer, mm -hmm. most of my property last summer. Yeah. Uh, so the first couple of months, I was uh, I was at full occupancy, right? It was great. And then come December, January, yeah. no bookings or, or very little or just short bookings. Yeah. So I felt like I didn't have control over my calendar. I felt mm -hmm. like I was just on the other receiving and just waiting for yeah. waiting for receiving some booking. There was no method to anything. It was just yeah. me putting a listing out a, 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 a listing out there on Airbnb or Booking.com and just waiting. So I then looked at video on YouTube, uh, such different ways what other people, but there wasn't really any any actual solution they were just people talking but i've came across some of your video then searched you on on um, on instagram and uh, yeah. messaged you what really appealed to me is that there was some methods to to it and consistent yeah. methods to 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 break the, to beat the algorithm and that's what i to was be, after and that, that was and i and this is where i think to remember when we first first spoke you know you you literally said to me i, I remember you said Piers, like you know my properties are vacant and we need to make it work if not the idea was either to scale down or yeah. you know worry because it's fair to say look we can all say scaling is easy you can put a lot of money into properties but if it doesn't make you money then you're now thinking there's going to be a liability in it so how yeah. were you? What what was the situation before we worked? Your oh, calendars... well, yeah. mm, the situation was not good um, because uh, there was some property obviously that I own with what I have with somebody else, and and basically I needed to bring money in to keep to keep the property. There wasn't there was high costs, and maybe yeah. they all up to be uh, on on a rent to rent basis, so I needed to pay the rent. The, yes. the landlord. Um, so all of that meant that after two months of not really bringing money, uh, I was really at the, I had like three days to the end of the month. And I was like, I was just, oh, not three days, but a few days before it was like, okay, I need to, to give it back. You did, if you don't get so, bookings, you were yeah, pretty much. I was you know at, what? at the end of it. Yeah. So that's why when I, when I, when you responded to my message, and we you started talking about some of the things that could be done. I was like, oh wow, I'm 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 hopeful. Uh, I'm hopeful because I could see what other people basically were saying about about what you did for them. Also, yeah, for so sure. I think a lot of uh, a lot of uh, people talk on the on on YouTube, and, and you can't really see the, the the result. But with you, it was slightly different because I could see. Other people have been gone through, through you know your methodology, and I've been I've been seen the result. And in fact, so I signed up, and within I think it was the first week, we got the result. We got I got About basically big a seventeen thousand pound booking. So the 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 the, the based was the, a relocation, a family. And uh, basically, she paid the first 
thousand pounds uh, up to May, and she's about to extend now another nine thousand to the end of August or seventy thousand. So uh, I just couldn't, I couldn't believe it. So you yeah, we kept, it. We kept go- yeah, we kept going, and and do you know what? Let's let, let's be honest here. Is it is it fair to say that booking had paid? For my services itself, let alone all the other work. Yeah, 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 yeah. I when when uh, <laughs> when on our first meeting, I was like, okay, I was kind of hesitant to even pay. <laughs> yeah, you I was were hesitant to pay. I was like, okay, but I, I went ahead and I was like, look, well, I think I'm gonna. That's gonna. That's gonna. I'm gonna see the results. So let let's go and let's do this. Yeah, yeah. But and yeah, I was. I, and when I was thinking about it. I'm thinking that a lot of people would charge a lot, lot, lot more for it. But you, you seem to, to really focus on really giving the value to to people, yeah. and yeah. that's an really immense value that that I got, and something that I'll bring with me and yeah, uh, for, my, for the rest of my journey. Yeah, the rest you're of not your journey, asking more for any upsell or any more. Just eight weeks of our time. Yep, we but see the know. results straight away. Done. I know. Look, yeah, the, the, the reason why. why the reason why I don't do upsell is look, I gave you more. But I remember I gave you more value in other parts of the business, and I never said to you, "Oh, this is what I charge." I was like, "This is what you need to do." Mm-hmm. That's why I said to you. So, I think where we are today, right? So we went through your struggling phase where you were like struggling to get back in. Some of yeah. your pro- property in your own portfolio was also underperforming. So you've gone from a launch of properties doing amazing quiet and then you're like okay well i'm we're not bringing any money in because you're reinvesting all that money into adding more properties in your portfolio yeah to so, to and mainly to to pay for uh for uh, because I'm, I'm leveraged so to pay for loans and things like that mostly so yeah. so that was really helpful to get me to to a better to a better position definitely. position yeah so mm-hmm. w- one thing i want to talk is that was the initial of your journey. Now, I remember there's some texts and, you know, I like to bring this on interview now because I can. You've had moments when you've gone pissed. We, I think, it, you know, we might have to, you know, give up on some of the other units because you had yeah. investor unit work, but there was some of the unit that you said, Piers, it Which might are mine, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which are your, what did I say to you? I said, we need to stick to the plan. Yeah. What's yeah. happened now then? So, for a lot of things have happened. So, following, uh, so me consistently going almost doing. daily on an update, like doing the the methodology. Yeah. I then had uh, uh, three months booking, I think, on one of the the, the two beds yeah. that I have, and I started having a lot of inquiries on Airbnb. A lot. That's, something that I didn't really have or I was kind of ignoring or not really focusing on but I started having a lot of and and I realized that the money and the direct bookings are on the in the inquiry and that's mm. what will drive your your income really in the Airbnb it's not the the instant book but often is that, time is the is the inquiry so really is the inquiry really drive that that process to get to get more inquiry that yeah. inquiry from uh, it was again a relocation a chinese family they, they they're staying now for three months in the two bed that i have uh, i also had um, just another a, booking a, another booking uh, it was a, a company and healthcare company about yeah. 40 nights yeah 40 night and another so we'll pop all of that screenshot yes. here so that the guys yeah. can see it but yeah one of the things i'm you know i'm fortunate to like to see how confident you are now to talk about bookings and stuff well, look tell me one thing what was like what was why did you why did you want to work with us because a lot of people watch our video and go was it because you thought if it works with peers great or was it like you 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 had no choice i just didn't see anyone else offering what you're offering to be honest yeah. with you and there was something uh you seem to care about people yeah. you're talking to i yeah. think a lot of the the people so that you come across sometimes you can see through them and you can see that oh well i'm just I'm, you just give me the money you know um, yeah. and, and that that wasn't the vibe with you uh also 
yeah, you bo- I was looking for a solution to get my long-term booking. A lot of people were talking about long-term booking. I'm getting long-term bookings, but then they don't ever, they really do keep it for themselves as to how they achieve that. Yeah, for and sure. I really was hoping for, okay, how can I, can I find out about this? How do we, how do I get a long-term booking? How does that work, this whole thing? I just didn't know. However, well, it's not explained anywhere. So you had that, that solution and i was like oh wow that that's what i need absolutely so that's why i went because i i really needed a solution soon i just didn't have enough time to to really not do it yeah it yeah. was either that or so and i went it, and did it is it fair to say today your knowledge in what we've done just like you know i talk about branding marketing for short-term rental business it's quite a vast time but in a basic note, you understand now what it is, right? And you understand how to play with it. Absolutely, absolutely. So people will buy into into your brand. It's all about, again, creating that, that rapport between you and your guest. And it's a tr- that relationship of trust. So people, it's like what the reviews are about. So that's the mm-hmm. same. So if you don't have a brand mm-hmm. that people can see exists yeah. somewhere, uh, something that they can rely on to decide amongst thousands of other booking yeah. it's hard to get those bigger company to commit to you if you do not know where to be seen they will they won't they won't go ahead they won't they need to yeah. have a validation that that that's a legitimate company they have a website when i search them i can find them and they have reviews and okay oh yeah. good so they, building they, a trust. You, there are a lot of checkpoints in their mind that means that okay they exist they have a brand that appear in different places okay they're legitimate and that's what you help me do to optimize my branding my brand presence online and on the the various uh, ota platforms do you know what i i will tell you something i feel worried when do you remember when i said to you change it to seven nights minimum booking Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you're probably thinking well the calendar's bloody empty you're telling me to change (laughs) How did that feel to you when I said that? Because I was like, well, there's no option because a lot of people mess their own calendar all the time. Yeah. So, so how did you feel? I, yeah, I basically I was thinking that by having a uh, smaller minimum night, I would be more visible, basically. And that's what I wanted. But actually, that's that's what people go wrong, um, because the more small booking you have, the less big booking you can get. Love it's that. Being patient and playing the long game in this, and that's what you, you also were explaining. You, you need to play the long game. Yeah. Uh, and how does it feel? Now, fine, but in order to be one of those company that has got the the, the long term booking, you have to have to be patient and wait yeah. for the right customer to come. Don't and don't look for sick for like a lot of people coming uh, straight away is just waiting and and, and optimizing your brand and and consistently updating and all of that that's i love that i love that now look two things here how does it feel to run a a much more hands-free systemized business because you've got out of five of your properties i think four of your properties is currently sat on long-term booking yeah so how does it feel when how does it I feel not to manage it? I one that I need to, to really feel and uh, hopefully <laughs> the, the booking will come, will, will, come, uh, will come now. But yeah, all of, all of them I've now got, basically, I've got a, one that, that checked in yesterday, you know, the, the, the 40 night ones. 40 nights, yeah. Today. So how does it feel to you? Because now you're not... Yeah, here. it feels like I have a met, I'm in control. Do you remember what, so when I joined, I, I felt yeah. like out. I, I don't. I'm not in control of my of this business. Oh, at yeah. least on the on my HMO, I've got most of my property are HMO, rent to rent HMO. So yeah. I can control that. I can control who comes in. I can control. But in my side business, I have no control. And what you give is control back mm. in mm. terms of the money you get. A bit more control, at least, of, in terms of how much money as well, an operator we get every month. Yeah, so I'm amazing. And listen, the second thing is that profit. You know, yesterday, well, yesterday, it's fair to say I told you 
this booking you have to get yourself and only i would interview on in there in my channel yes. that's why i said what i didn't know <laughs> this is crazy yeah so basically my last session was uh, with yourself was yeah. on was it wednesday or thursday was wednesday. yeah yeah so you said to me okay now you just need to go because i was i said to you well i don't know how i'm gonna do this by myself to be honest with you now what did i say you to you so help you said now you need to go and do it yourself you've got all uh, the do, tools apply the methodology do it every day and if by next week uh you have a long term booking then we do an interview you, i think and it was the happen? next day or the next two day days you, later you landed a 40, I had 40 nights booking I and that was what the, that interview <laughs> was meant to be. <laughs> but you, you, but you think about this. You were the why. The reason why I did that was I wanted you to be confident without us. That was the whole yeah. point, and which yeah. you are today. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. That, that property itself, forty nights booking, less management. I think you're making over twelve fifty a net profit. Yeah, yeah. On on, on <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, it's, on that you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all your expenses. You're paying, you know, you're putting that money into your bank as a profit. So, look, it's been a what a journey it's been. I think you know, people watching this video, obviously, you and me having this conversation. I know what I've gone through with you, and you know what you've gone through with me in terms of working every day. My team doing as much as we can to build your brand. So, look, well, I think. I would really, really love, love you to say one thing to the viewers. If anyone's looking to work with us, you know, what, what's your, what's your saying to them? So, if you need to to take control back of your, uh, of for me, that's all. That was all about that. I felt more in control of my business, and there was a methodology. So, if you need to to feel to take control back for your business from your business. That's that's the way to go. Uh, PS has the methodology. Mm. Systems from his perspective are, are second to none. He's mm. really good with system, and that's definitely something I want to emulate. So if you want to get control back in terms of your revenue and the the, the guest demand, that's that's the the way to go. That's PS really really helped mm. me in terms of that. So oh and he's God, really kind you. as well. So. So I that's, that's that. one thing that's really important to me, somebody that's actually authentic. So Yeah, it's, no, I appreciate really that. Look, we I think we've we've exchanged messages at ten in the night, you know, me telling this in YouTube probably yeah. people will be like, Oh my god, I can message me at ten in the evening. But because I care, I care that I wanna get results for our clients and you know, I talk about this all the time in my videos that, you know, me that I can only do better if clients like you can get consistent results. Um, and for me, after eight weeks, I can sit down here proudly saying, you've made all the investment back with me and the rest. And this time next year, I can sit down here and maybe even to view again and you'll be like, Piers, we've done, <laughs> we've had an amazing year. I hope so. Yeah. Amazing. So look, yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you so much for doing this client interview. I really appreciate thank it. You. I think viewers will love to obviously connect to you. I'll probably uh, leave your Instagram handle here. If anyone wants to connect to you, yeah, I'm sure uh, they would want to come and speak to you. But look, I appreciate your time. Um, no, and yeah, look forward to speaking to you again. Yeah, hopefully soon. Hopefully we'll yeah. Speak soon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the Grow BNB client interview. I really get excited to share all these videos. Now listen, if you guys are looking to work with us, please make sure you book a call. If you're learning, if you want to grow your business, you really want to make sure that you're doing the right thing in your short term rental business, drop us a message. We'd love to hear from you. But thank you so much for watching another Grow BNB video and I will be back with another video soon.